What is up, boys and girls? Seven years ago, I wrote this beautiful package, which is called Weavebox. Right. Uh, you can see it's in the bubble post uh, repo, but I wrote this code. It's backtrackable. It's when I worked at this startup eight years ago, the bubble post startup in Belgium, a company I worked for. And I wrote this uh, minimalistic, super fast, easy to use web framework for Golang seven years ago. And it's exactly the same as we can see these frameworks today. Go Fiber, for example, as I think it's the, the most popular one. Um, it works exactly the same. Uh, but I wrote this seven years ago and Go Fiber is basically, uh, I think it's only two or three years old, right? So did they copy me? Did Go Fiber copy the Undisputed Champion? Well, let's figure this out. Let's bring Weavebox back to life, check what it can. And at the end of the video, we are going to benchmark Weavebox, Weavebox versus Go Fiber to see who is the undisputed champion. But before we continue, if you're not subscribed yet to the channel, consider subscribing to the channel. Give me a thumbs up, leave some questions in the comment, ring the notifications bell so you will be always up to date when I go live or when I make a new video. And very important, jump into my Discord community so I can turn you into a professional. I also have an announcement to make. I created the full-time GoDev program, which will be live around January or mid-January. And I'm doing a pre-sale right now, which will be 30% off if you pre-sale the full program right now. It serves both sides of the skill spectrum. For the people that have no Go experience at all, but also for people that have already some experience in Golang, I will cover the whole shebang. From a complete Golang introduction to mastering concurrency, building JSON APIs, the complete microservice stack, rate limiting, circuit breaking, Apache Kafka, all that shenanigans. And I'm even going to cover how to deal with Golang job interviews, how to build confidence, how to make a killer resume. And I'm going to give you a complete free new blockchain from scratch in Golang with gRPC on top of that. So 30% off fulltime godev.com. I'm looking forward to see you as a student in my new program. But right. so uh, I'm going to clone this thing real quick. Uh, get clone, paste that in. <sighs> What's going on each? Get close, get clone, by the way. Still early in the morning. All right, so let's go to Weavebox. Weavebox. Let's open up code here real quick. Well, new version. What's going on? All right. Cool. Let me quickly boost up um, the font size here. Let's do two, scaling two, and then we're going to make this 18. Boom, let's open up um, Weavebox itself, right? You see, this is Weavebox. It's using uh, HTTP router under the hood. Um, like I said, it's from eight years ago. Not quite sure if these things are gonna work. Uh, let's see, uh, let's open up. What I'm gonna do basically is I'm gonna make here in examples, I'm gonna make a new folder and we're gonna call this uh, 2023, which is basically what <laughs> the year we are in two weeks. Uh, let's make a new main file in this thing, uh, package main, so we can test this, uh, this package out, right? Package main, func main, just like that. And then we're gonna see in Weavebox itself, we're gonna, let's do a go mod in it actually. Uh, go mod in it, github.com. Uh, I think I can do, wait, um, it's gonna be Twanis, which was my nickname back in the day. Weavebox, just like that, that's good. Then we're gonna install this uh, Jillian Smith thingy. God damn it, it's so annoying that I cannot go get github.com. Uh, it's gonna be Jillian. Uh, Schmidt, HTTP router. Let's go. Uh, that's fine. The context was back in the day, guys. Context was not in the standard library, so we can delete that. It's going to be fine. So I think this is good. Weavebox test is going to be some issues, I guess. Uh, Weavebox test. Let's do it like this. What's going on here? Weavebox test. The font is so big, it's annoying for me, but it is what it is. <clears throat> um... I think that's fine. Yeah, I think it's good. Let's open up the folder again. What do we need to fix? Server. What's going on, man? It's annoying here. Server. Uh, Brad fits. We need to install that. It's going to be github. Go get github.com. 
It's gonna be Brad Fitz. Brad Fitz HTTP 2. Boom. Taken care of. That's fine. All right, so we can, I think we can go to our examples 23. So basically, Weavebox is, uh, like I said, it's a very simple minimalistic web framework, and let's do some stuff. So I'm going to say app is going to be uh, Weavebox new, just like that. It's not actually importing it for some reason. That's annoying. Um, how are we going to do this? Let's import it manually then. Man, this font is crazy. Uh, HTTP, no, it's going to be uh, github.com. 20s, weavebox. Yes. Fine. We have this app. And then we're going to say, for example, uh, app get. Uh, we're going to say uh, users slash users. We're going to say handle get users. And then we're going to say uh, app surf. We need to give a port, which is an int. 3000 then we're going to say func handle get users is going to be an uh c or a ctx actually it's going to be a weavebox uh context and then an error just like it is the perfect idiomatic stuff and then we're going to say uh, return for example c text no it's going to ctx text ctx text and we're going to say http status Okay, and we're going to say hello from 2015, right? Because this is written in 2015. Can you imagine? Um, yes, that's fine. So then we can actually say, let's cd into examples 2023 here. And then say go run main.go. Boom. And uh, let me open up. Where is my GitHub thingy here? Let's go to a local host 3000. And this is going to be users. Boom. Hello from 2015. Working perfectly fine. Uh, what we also could do is basically do a slash get users uh, with an ID, for example. And it's going to be handle get users by ID. Right. Let's uh, copy this whole function here. Paste it in. Handle get users by ID. And then we can say that the ID is going to be ctx var. Is it var? Param. Ram and it's gonna be ID, right? And then we're gonna say, let's just dump the ID in here, right? We're gonna say the ID and let's see if it's all gonna work out fine. Let's kill this. Go run main go boom users slash boom and you can see the ID here. It's very let let me try this with um, tender request. It's gonna be a little bit bigger here for you guys. HTTP <clears throat> slash slash local host uh 3000 users boom you see id is 44 perfectly fine and if you do this id will be this hey working like intended right so yes what we also could do is box in that's why basically uh i call this package weave box is because we can make boxes we can weave all these boxes together and that's basically sub routes right so we could do something like this um let's say users is going to be um I think it's app box. Yes, app box slash users. Right? And then we're going to say uh, app get. Instead of saying users, we can do just slash. And instead of uh, doing slash users, we can do just slash ID. But we need to change this to users, right? So we have a sub route of users, right? And then uh, VS Code is doing so annoying today. It's insane. We're going to say go run main go. Boom. Open up this uh, Thunder request here. And you can see it works perfectly fine, right? We can do users with ID and just users, boom. It works perfectly fine, right? Boxing. So you can see it coming, right? We could do something like uh, books is going to be app uh, box slash books, right? And then we could do something like uh, grab this. We're going to say books slash handle get uh, books like that. And then we can copy this function, paste it in and call this handle get books. And then we're going to say, hello, books from 2015. Kill this application. <coughs> go run main.go here. Boom. Uh, turn the request, actually. Boom. And then we're going to say, books here. Books. Bam. Hello, books from 2015. Hey. 
amazing, isn't it? What we also could do is very simple. If you want to have some logging, we're going to say app uh, enable access log is true. Very simple. And if you go then to request, actually, I need to kill the server real quick. Uh, go run main. Go boom. Go to new request. Each time we do this, you can see this beautiful uh, access log for us. Isn't that amazing? There is also support for uh, static file rendering. It is a template engine. Uh, oh, middleware. Yes, yes. There is something very simple for middleware. For examples, uh, let's make some... Uh, not quite sure how I need to do this middleware, by the way. So we have this users here. Can I do something like users use... Um, I don't know. Foo. I'm not quite sure what the middleware function is. It's going to be a simple handler, actually. Uh, it's just a context, a fun context error. It's the same thing. It's fine. So we're going to make a middleware function. Actually, foo middleware. Let's make it foo middleware. Could some could be some authentication or something. Hey, uh, be creative. We're going to say foo middleware. C is going to be a weave box. Um, context. And an error, I guess. And we're going to say here, return null. And we're going to do fmt print ln. Doing some stuff in the middleware function. Uh, like this. Boom. You see? So right now, you can see that we... And that's that's the beauty of this boxing, of this weave boxing, that we have users use. So this full middleware will only be available for the users group, for the users box, right? Not for the books. So we're going to test this real quick. Um, go run main.go. Uh, that's perfectly fine. Let's do this. So let's do books, and you can see nothing happens, right? Only the access log is, is, is doing, but if we, uh, it's printing out, if we do users, you can see that the middleware for the users is working, right? And that's the beauty. So you can have mil uh, different middlewares attached to different uh, groups of uh, boxes of, of handlers, right? You could do uh, like this. We're going to say books, use uh, the book middleware, for example. Let's make a book middleware real quick, and then we're going to... Let's do here, uh, book middleware, do some stuff in the book, actually, reading books, just like that. Scale it again, May go, request, so you can see, uh, doing some stuff in the middleware function, if we go to books here, you can see reading books, right? Hey, the beauty of Weavebox. So, uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to benchmark this. Very important. And I already have a bench. And we're going to compare this with GoFiber uh, and see who is uh, who is the fastest, right? So, let me quickly see if I can benchmark here. Uh, bench test. Uh, benchmark with values. It's this simple thing here. That's fine. The question is, can I run this? Uh, we can't because we have these errors here in Weavebox test. That's nasty. Uh, what is this? Needs to be error F. Error F. Let's let's do all of them real quick. Let's do some uh, refactoring here. Well, refactoring isn't it? It's basically fixing stuff, right? Boom! This guy here. Error F. I don't know. Not sure why I did didn't do this back in the day. It's crazy. <coughs> This is a problem because code is an integer. What's going on? That's fine. And this guy here. Boom. You can see there are a lot, a lot, a lot of tests in, in this package. A lot of tests here. Look at this. Insanely. All right. Uh, let's open up back this um, bench test. Can we do this right now? It's busy. It's benching. All right, so we have five allocs, which is uh, almost zero allocations uh, for 482 NS per operation. So that's perfectly fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up. Actually, we don't. We're going to make another bench here. We're going to say func bench uh, mark get with values uh, fiber. We're going to say B It's going to be testing B. Um, okay, let's let's install Fiber real quick. Never use this thing, by the way. 
Never use this thing because you can see I'm writing my own stuff, right? Seven years ago, <laughs> these guys from Go from Go Fiber were still in their diapers. They were still shitting themselves in their in their bed, in their pajamas. You know what I mean? Uh, go get this thing, Fiber. Look at this, all this bullshit that needs to be installed. But hey, it is what it is. So we're gonna. It's gonna be something like app. You see, it's the same thing, right? It's gonna be app fiber. I, I'm 100% sure it's gonna be this fiber new. Is that a thing? Probably need to install this. Let me paste. Copy this again. Paste it in here. Delete this. Go get. Do this and that. Boom. Fiber new. Um, it's gonna be app get. You see, it's the same thing. They just copy me, man. They copied me. Actually, I can copy this thing. Paste it in here. Hello name is going to be a func ctx. It's probably going to be a fiber context. Is that a thing? It's not. It's going to be a fiber ctx then. So predictable. Uh, and then we're going to copy the whole shebang here. Hop. Hop. And it's going to be app surf. The problem is here, they don't have a... Um, they did something not good. Which basically, this is not a... Um, not a handler actually. It's, uh, it cannot do... It doesn't have the serve HTTP on it. So it cannot do that. So we're gonna probably do something like um, how can we fix this here? Server. How do they how do they do that? How do they test in this thing? Um, app maybe. Root handlers, yada yada, server. Handler, listen. What's handler? It turns a server handler. Test. Yeah, this, this is what we need. This is what we need. Uh, because with test, I can just pass in a request, which is exactly the same what we did with R thingy. So it's going to be the R here, right? It's the same thing, right? We do app serve with the request, and here we're going to app test with the request, right? So let's run this benchmark real quick. 26 allocations, 31 nanoseconds per operation, 31,000 nanosecond per operation, and we've boxed my solution. 507 nanoseconds per operation, 5 locks. Hey. Think about this. What you want from it. But you can see uh, the clear results. Right. So, that's basically it. If you like this kind of videos. If you feel amazed that I actually wrote this stuff 7 years ago. And that they basically copied me. And copied me in a bad way because they're still slower. Although they claim to be the fastest one. But hey. The underdog is still the undisputed champion. If you like the videos I'm providing to you guys, please consider subscribing to my channel. Give me a thumbs up. Very important, jump into the Discord community for free education. And for the people that are willing to become a full-time GoDev, go check out fulltimegodev.com. And I was happy to see you in my program. Thanks for watching, and I'm looking forward to seeing you in my live streams or future videos or in the full-time GoDev program. Cheers.